This is how YouTube has changed my life with less than 600 subscribers. And yes, I know, I just made one of these at 500 subs, but I had more to say, so here we go. Something's changed for me in the past four weeks since I had posted that video of how YouTube's changed my life with less than 500 subscribers, and it's that people started watching. I gained over 100 subscribers, which I know is not much to probably most YouTubers out there, but to small YouTubers like me, it is. It's huge. I have over 100 likes on that video. I'm getting comments. I got a lot of comments on that video, but then I posted a video since, and I got comments on that video. It changes things a little bit when people start listening. And I know there's more of that coming, but I just want to talk about that as I approach 600 subscribers. Because when you get comments like these, it shows you that you your words are actually affecting someone, right? You're making a difference when you spend the time to sit down, script out a video, and upload it up on YouTube. There are people on the other side of that screen, which I know, but just being reminded of it, it invigorates me for sharing. I think it'll invigorate you as well. And here's the truth I'm finding in all of this. In my martial arts training, we talk a lot about reciprocal energy. So if someone comes in and they don't have a lot of energy, but someone else comes in to train that night and they do have a lot of energy, their energy can kind of rub off on other people, right? And then that energy that picked that one person up now can pick someone else up because they saw them come in low and now they're up higher. And it's just like this cycle of positive energy. I think the same thing is happening with my YouTube journey. I do. Because that's exactly how I started. I looked at other people. I had no energy, if you will, for this. I was excited about it. I wanted to do it, but I had no like concept of it working. But when I would watch, videos like YouTube changed my life with less than 500 subscribers from people like you and I saw their journey I saw that they made these videos with less than 500 subs and usually these creators would look back like a year or two or a couple months ago to when they first started their journey and they'd be like look I had no subscribers a year ago and now I've got almost 500 or I've got 300 or a bunch more it doesn't matter what matters is they're looking back they're saying I put in the time and effort it hasn't like exploded but it's changed my life in certain ways and that motivated me and another thing that motivated me usually i'd find them like a couple months or a couple weeks or maybe after they made this video and i would almost always see that these people that posted this video that said i had less than 500 subscribers they were now like over a thousand maybe they had a couple thousand and i was just like it's only been a couple weeks or months for them look how fast things changed for them that's energy that's fuel for my fire, that's motivation and excitement. I can do this too, you can as well. And you know, I think what pushed me in my life to actually hit record and start posting was seeing the mentors and the people that I look up to sharing similar things online. So whether it's videos or podcasts or whatever, I see them putting out their thoughts and getting this positive feedback and being willing to be vulnerable, which is like not fun and scary for people, right? We talked about this in my 500 subscribers video. But I saw people I admired putting themselves out there and sharing the good stuff that they had inside to share. And I knew I had some good stuff to share too. And I knew if I kept putting it out there over time, it would grow. And this is where the reciprocal part comes in, like full circle it would eventually impact other people, right? They would eventually impact more people and it's just like this incredible legacy that I can be putting out there into the universe and have these videos making an impact for years and years to come, the rest of my life and beyond it. It's just this incredible added purpose that I didn't expect, you know? Like you, you start a YouTube channel and you think it's gonna be really good and then you realize like, no, this can be really great. This can be a long-term impact way beyond myself. And I've said it before and I'll, I'll probably say it a bunch of times on my channel, so subscribe if you wanna hear this. YouTube success is inevitable if you stick with it. If you stay consistent and you focus on 1% growth over time, you're gonna succeed. You're gonna hit your goals. I do think having those goals be kind of like limited and focused is, is huge, right? You can't be like trying to do everything all at once. Some people prefer to focus on a goal they can control, like I'm gonna put out one video a week or two a month or whatever it is. Other people are focused on the 1,000 subscribers or 4,000 watch hours so they can monetize their channel. I would recommend you watch this video I made on SMART goals recently because those have been the best for me for making goals to change my life. But the magic comes when you hit a goal. Like it's gonna have big goals and, and small and medium, but like make sure you have a goal that you can kind of hit soon too, right? Because these small victories when you hit these goals are momentum and you need momentum for YouTube and for life and for continued growth for the rest of time. Find your way to find momentum. Achieve a small goal. 
just to keep that ball rolling. My goal for this year, 2024, it's a thousand subscribers. I keep saying year of a thousand subs, right? I have a whole playlist with updates linked on that. I've mentioned it in a bunch of videos. Honestly, while I know anything is possible all the time with the right amount of time and energy and work, a month ago, that seemed more impossible. A month ago, I was at like 460 subscribers and I was just, nothing was moving. And it was just like, is this actually gonna happen? And now I'm almost at 600 subscribers. And I know it's September, it's getting there, right? We're getting close to the end of the year, but there's still time. And hitting 500, and I'm sure hitting 600, it just gives you this added momentum, this motivation to continue. That's where motivation comes from, right? Momentum. So find your momentum through hitting smaller goals. And that's just gonna push you forward, keep you focused, keep you energized. And creators, just remember that you are creating a catalog of life-changing content. Like, you probably wouldn't be putting it out there if it didn't change your life in some way. And so remember that it is likely it's going to change someone else's who comes across it. They might never tell you, not everybody comments on YouTube, not everybody likes, you know? Don't make those your only metrics. Your content matters, your time matters, your energy in this space matters. So keep at it, find your momentum, and keep finding lessons along the way. I mean, most of these things came to me since the last video, like 100 subscribers ago, and so maybe I'll have more to share before I hit 700 subscribers, unless that comes at me fast. But I was just speaking about life-changing, and if you're in your 20s, I highly recommend this video I just posted of advice that I, as a 31-year-old Sammy, would give to myself as a 21-year-old Sammy 10 years ago, and I think it's good for anybody in your 20s. And there's 21 pieces of advice, I highly recommend that video, check it out now if you're interested in making a positive impact on your own life and beyond.